I get asked, what, do you, what did you want to first be when you grew up? It wasn't an artist. It actually was a wizard. <laughs> you know, in spite of not being into art when I was a kid, I always was fascinated by the thought that there might be wee folk in amongst the brush and the brambles of the of the woods and all and so i i think i'm sort of trying to relive my childhood in a certain way and find these people expose them to the world beyond the fact that i'm doing something i absolutely love and i and i am the my own boss i'm telling myself what i have to do when i have to do it uh, the commute is nice, uh, you know, the 20 yards I have to go from the house to my studio is a pleasant journey. You know, there's no doubt that the advantages that I um, have with my career, I just love what I'm doing. And I, um, you know, I watched my father seemingly hate <laughs> every moment of his working life and I think that I, that had an effect on me and I I kind of realized that uh, that wasn't what I thought life was about to me it was like you know you spend so much time with a career that, that it should be something that um, that you do love so I, I consider myself extremely lucky to be able to uh, continue to do the thing that I love the most My name is Jane Yolen. I'm a children's book author, and I'm a huge Gary Lippincott fan. What I love most about Gary's work is both the detail and the underlying beauty, the numinous elements in it, which sort of lift you up into the universe. A lot of the work that Gary does is ephemeral. That means it's here and gone. Uh, sometimes it's here and gone because it's on a beer bottle or it's on a magazine that no longer exists uh, or it's done specifically for a particular client who wants it and it's hanging on their wall somewhere. And no one else is going to see those things or see them as a collection. Uh, for those of us who are absolutely passionate about his work and for those who will become passionate about his work, I think that something like a Kickstarter campaign to help him get the wherewithal to put the book together is a brilliant idea. And I'll be first in line to buy the book, let me tell you. My interest in it is the fact that uh, there are fewer and fewer publishers that find it uh, financially lucrative to be putting out art books. Kickstarter seemed to be the thing that uh, uh, could make that possible. I think Funding this is like funding a portable museum where we will be able to open up a book of Gary's art and we will be there as if we were walking through the halls of this amazing museum, but a lot cheaper than a museum. It's something that I recognize has been asked for, and it seems like it's something that people want to have. Uh, you know, a fairly large number of people want to have. And, and, and really, let's, let's face it, I mean, uh, the reason why, part of the reason why I do what I do is to give people enjoyment, to invite them into my world, uh, let them see my family of characters, and the more people that I can expose those things to, I think the happier we all are. <laughs>